Hello, my name is Mitch and I draw Blood Force and we're here now with page 26 of issue 2 of Blood Force. Getting right up to the end of the book. That is a tiny head. I don't notice because I'm too busy just kind of doodling around. But uh, if you enjoy the channel, if you want to support me as an artist, what you can do is uh, in the description there's a link to my Patreon. If you wanted to subscribe there, that would give you access to these pages as well as all, well, all of the Blood Force comics, for one thing, but also any process stuff, any behind-the-scenes stuff, and any Patreon exclusives. So that's worth checking out. Also, if you were to go over to my Instagram, commissions are now open. But let's talk about this page, because why not? This is actually at, um, I think, double my usual speed. This is like 30 times, because this, this one took a little while. This is around when I decided that there aren't enough lines on these pages. <laughs> And I can do something about that, so I'm going to. So, um, yeah, let's get all the dialogue out of the way first. I think this was done a little bit awkwardly, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, this one took me... Usually a Blood Force page takes me around... Uh, when all the footage is compiled, like five or six hours. That's not including any... Uh, well, obviously it doesn't include any scripting time. But uh, doesn't include any planning, doesn't include blue line, doesn't include lettering, usually. Although, in this case, it did, I suppose. So, I guess I'm a liar. And I'm lettering with my Tombow to give that a shot. In future, I think we're going to try for computer lettering. Might as well just kind of, you know, try a couple of things out. At the end of the issue here. Why not? It might be the last time I do it. But, uh, yeah. So, usually five, six, maybe seven hours to, uh, to finish a page on this. Um, I tend to simplify things if I can because I need to get a page done I need to move on to the next one if I'm taking 15 hours on a page that's probably more like two weeks you know I can't I can't do that in one day I can't do much more than five hours in a sitting before my wrist and my elbow start getting too sore to do too much and you know the rest of the week you know I might be able to fit in like a half hour or an hour here and there but not enough to get a page done in a week so I've got to find ways to speed things up. Uh, this one was more like eight or nine hours. So not, you know, drastically more than usual, but enough that it, uh, it made a difference when uh, speeding up the footage anyway. So we're going to start off with the clerk captain. Good uh, rule of thumb is to always start with the shadows with him and then kind of uh, put in details around those. I guess that's kind of a ro good rule of thumb with most things. Not much point putting details in when and then putting shadows over top of it. And this is still using the previous method from page, I don't even know, like 12, 13, 14, I think in that neighborhood. I'm doing backgrounds where, yeah, it's, it's just kind of uh, abstract shapes and stuff. And we're going to, we're about to change that here. So not a bad angle of the clerk captain here that's pretty good and we're gonna get the last shot of course of uh, Popo from flush on on his hamster wheel because we got to get as many of those in as possible there will be one more in issue three and then we're done I swear the script for issue three is done now by the way so that's uh, that's exciting stuff I can get uh, right to work on on page one of that And these, these types of panels are, or these types of shots of Popo are always easy to do because they're usually pretty small. But it's always like, oh, I got to draw that stupid fucking tech again. <laughs> it's like, dude, you made up the tech. <laughs> if you don't like it, do something different. And of course, with his shredded up pants, because that's how you show he's been tortured. I don't think there's much in the way of smoke here anymore, but this is the bit where um, Popo basically destroys the clerk's translators by dint of um, just speaking pure fucking vigilante 90s uh, extreme nonsense. And so this is this is some of the, the most fun dialogue in the book, I think. Uh, my favorite line, if I recall, was like, I'm an ice cold freight train of reprisal. What the fuck does that mean? 
There's so many mixed metaphors in that sentence. <laughs> All right, so get in the thing here. Don't need too much because it's kind of a long shot. I'm gonna go, I think, a little bit heavier here. No, because it's a lot of black. So silhouetted tech. Yeah, okay, so not here. Bottom two panels. So this should be fairly easy to, uh, fairly quick to finish up. So this stuff here took like no time, you can tell. And yet we're still clocking in at like eight or nine hours. So these bottom two panels, yeah, I went a little ham. And uh, this shot in particular, um, I think I said in the last episode, something kind of clicked um, when it came to the double lighting. You can kind of see it in this one here, like these, the penumbras I'm setting up here. I like the strain that we're I'm managing to get on these, uh, on the forearms. But yeah, like right here. That's looking pretty good. That's looking better than I've really managed before now, I think. So naturally, mirror it over here. Just a little bit of tech on the side here. That's all you need. And this is all, again, still fairly quick. No, maybe not that quick. We're like four hours in, essentially. We're like almost halfway through the video. And that, this is where it gets kind of kind of messy. This this page did take me a while to finish. Okay, so now we got to put in the clerk captain probably. Yeah, oh, and, and Sparks as well. How in the hell did you manage to make a make this page last so long when uh, when you're blacking in that much? Okay, so Sparks. There's some guesswork about how to do sparks. I'm basically having to figure this out on the fly. Here's the clerk captain. Good dramatic pose. He's going to milk everything he's got here in his last scene. And pretty clear line work, at least to start with. I think I muddy it up a little bit, but uh, this is okay. And yes, because I can't silhouette him. Like, I can't put silhouettes behind him. It's like, okay, so we have to show stuff. So let's let's put in a bunch of stuff. And it's it's really, like, so much of it's just random shapes. And just randomly... Yeah, rendering on the shapes. And using my new brush pen, of course, so getting some interesting lines out of this. And yeah, let's try more sparks. That's quite a bit messier than last time. And all this weird background stuff. Yeah, a lot more. It's pretty good on him, I guess. Like I said, fairly clear. There is one of the dangers, of course, of putting all sorts of detail in the background is if you don't have fairly simplistic characters, they can just kind of blend in. That's why color can be so important. And put a grate there on the background, which did add some nice depth. Uh, unfortunately, it does mean it kind of solidifies everything. I don't even know if that's a good thing. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. And yeah, this is uh, the corporal's station here. I'm not too, uh, I don't think I was look too much looking forward to um, his pose here. Because we got to get some more sparks raining down on him here, I believe. And honestly, in the finished product, it uh, he, he kind of blends in a bit too much. Put some like tanks behind him. Which seemed like a good idea, but now, when you gotta do sparks over that, you gotta darken things up. So put some, yeah, forget that tank there. Put some tech in front of it. 
More sparks. There we go. There we go. Just splooge all over the fucking page. Very satisfying. Nah, he's, he's, I guess he's fine. He's not too blended in here. This one here, same thing. Oh, that's a little clearer. Very nice. And I actually ended up making the captain's head too small here, but didn't realize until it was fully inked. So pencils serve no purpose, in case you were wondering. Or at least they don't when this is the extent of the pencils you do. <laughs> and yeah, he, could, he, he manifested a... Uh, a third toe there completely out of nowhere but it, I, I do like how that looks better and now we're, yeah we're just gonna sub in that that weird background tech oh we lost our focus that's unfortunate it's still not really 100% back oh well I may have uh, gotten away around the focus for next issue it might be better we'll, we'll have to see and this is largely random shapes and real, uh, so learn a bit from the last panel. Make sure there's a lot of dark areas in the background. You can put all the hatching in you want, because we're gonna if we're doing sparks all over it, then you know it'll still show up. Nah, that could look better. Uh, I, just with the camera, I mean, it's unfortunate. So just like random tubes, these tanks that are in the background here. Those are probably good for something. And just, yeah, the random uh, tech shooting out from the walls and the ceiling and everything. And hatch that in, because again, we're going to need a whole bunch of uh, lines to cover up with the sparks here. There's that corporal again. And we're going to have to be careful because the corporal has to be kind of light. Again, with color, you want to make sure that you can do something with it. Holy crap, this doesn't focus at all, does it? Oh, well. All right, put some so put some heavy stuff behind him. Not too much heavy stuff or all that depth you created with those overlapping machines will disappear. And let's do some new stuff here. Like, these lines don't even necessarily make sense. These, I guess these are shapes we're making. Like, there there does seem to be some volume. But, uh, like, if you were to fully light it, I don't think you'd have uh, a real three-dimensional shape. All right, fill in all that tech stuff. Come on, fill it in more. <laughs> This distance, this isn't too difficult. It's when you get really close up. One second. This this should probably start to look like it makes sense. And yet. <laughs> like that shape there, that doesn't make any sense. And I knew it at the time. And it's like, fuck it. <laughs> I need to fill this background with things. The things do not need to be discernible if, even from each other and like you're gonna drop Popo in here too so he doesn't yeah here we go so he doesn't get uh, too overlapped there we go more stuff so much stuff I will learn to love drawing the stuff it seems unlikely but I'm sure it's true now, more, more, more of the splooge. Oh, good, I did add in, add in more lights there. And that's going to do it. Yeah. The spirit of full automatic. That's my Warren Ellis line for this issue. Okay, so that is uh, a pretty heavy-duty page done. And uh, we'll see if we can keep that going for the next one. I have my doubts, but hopefully. I, I you know, like I said, when I did the script, I wasn't really thinking about how much difficulty 
I'm going to experience when I'm actually having to draw it. So again, one day eventually these two will be like the writer and the artist will meet and they'll go, yo, you fucking suck. <laughs> but until then we just get resentment. But uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this one. Next one is of course, page 27, the last page of issue two and then the cover. Both of these pages are, are done now. Well, the cover's pretty much done at this point. But, uh, you know, I just got to do the commentaries. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notifications so you know when issue two is done and you can start watching for issue three, that kind of stuff. It's important you can, so you can set your schedule. Go follow me on Twitter. More importantly, go subscribe on Patreon. That's where all these pages end up. Uh, that's where the full issues are, including full issue one, full issue two, and whatever part of issue three I'm on by now. And as well as all of these videos before they end up on YouTube, usually a week or so in advance, and any process or behind the scenes stuff or any Patreon exclusives. In addition, because I can't just keep saying also, if you go over to my Instagram, commissions there are now open. So that's how you can get a page like this. I might charge you a fair bit because this was not that enjoyable. <laughs> but you could theoretically get a page like this. <laughs> But thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.